It's that time of year again. Black mounds of dirt are popping up on lawns and covering them in little black bugs. Yeah, ants are an annual problem, but according to experts, this year is especially bad. CTV's Michelle Gurring joins us now. Michelle, why are there so many this year? Well, Marilee, there are a number of different factors that go into the yearly ant equation, but higher ant populations aren't necessarily that bad. With a garage sale scheduled for Saturday, Karen Schmidt is expecting a lot of guests, but hundreds of unwanted ones are already here. I just kind of wanted it done so when there's kids coming on Saturday that there's no carpenter ants around them. For the second year, she's called in the pros to powder and spray hills housing carpenter and field ants all over her yard. All our measures that we tried just was not doing it. It's part of the reason local pest control companies are seeing a spike in calls for ants. On average, maybe 20, 25. We're dealing with 50 or more a day. Entomologist Taz Stewart says the influx of armies of ants could be a result of the harsh winter combined with the late spring. As well, the absence of long-term granular insecticides, which were banned eight years ago. Our current options are more short-term, so you may be seeing a natural increase in numbers over time. Garden and lawn experts say people are left with weaker alternatives to combat ants. Now we're left with the carbaryl. And Ken Land says carbaryl isn't as effective. A number of people are coming in and talking about the same ant hill they had last year and the year before. Still, Taz Stewart says having ants isn't the worst thing in the world. In essence, ants are a beneficial organism. They're actually aerating the soil up. He and his client, Karen, encourage other Winnipegers to keep them around. I think ants are a good thing, except when they get overpopulated, and um, you know, especially carpenter ants, they can they can do some damage. So, well, carpenter ants are the larger of the species, and they can cause a lot of damage if they get into your house. They can burrow into the wood framing in your house. A sure sign of that is sawdust-like particles showing up in your basement. So, Michelle, is there anything homeowners can do themselves to get rid of an ant problem? Well, it depends on what kind of ant problem you have. Some species may not be a problem, but others like carpenter ants are. The first thing that experts suggest you do is gather up some ants, like I've done here in this jar, and you take them down to a pest control company, and they'll be able to identify what kind of ant you have in your lawn. And once they tell you what kind of ant you have, then you can move forward with a treatment plan. So they can either tell you you can treat it yourself, or if you need expert advice, they can help you out there as well. All right, thanks, Michelle. CTV's Michelle Gerwing reporting.